Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shack. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the base ecosystem will be wiped out and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? Definitely not. The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Wyden. All right, Ryden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the back button. When we need to reach you, contact you. The codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the back button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. 
Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrain01 is back at you with more Metal Gear Solid 2. We are continuing on with our walkthrough here completely stealth. Obviously, no alerts or the game is over. So first things up is we're going to grab a few miscellaneous items here and there. And there's a couple of things that we can grab while we are in this area. And the first one is going to be this ration all the way over here. There's actually a couple of rations in this room. Of course, you guys know me. I'm going to be nice and stealthy. Just grabbing a few collectibles here and there. You know, maybe a few dog tags, whatnot. Uh, but uh, thank you guys for commenting and rating on the uh, first couple of videos for the uh, tanker part of the game. Which I think is... To me, at least, the best part of the game. But, uh, you know, this is still a great game, and it was still awesome to play back in the day, and we're hopefully going to do it justice here, so. So, as I kind of get used to the controls again, first thing we're going to do here is pick up some goodies. Which, the first goodie will be down here, except for the ration. Got your feet wet? These are the basic controls for swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. So I don't know if anyone else noticed, but it actually sounds really weird. Uh, sometimes the speech from uh, the colonel is like different. I don't know if any of you guys noticed that, but I definitely did. Like maybe they recorded it after they recorded his original audio, or maybe it wasn't even him. But uh, hopefully I'm not the only one that actually thinks that. So uh, let's see here. Anything special? Got some nice bugs here. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it as far as that goes. I think there's some collectibles and whatnot in here. I think there should be one more ration if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so as far as everything else that's in here, I don't think there's really anything else. Looks like that's about it. So I think we're ready to do this. Hopefully we're going to have lots of fun. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. Ah, haha. Gotcha. There is one more thing and I'm not going to forget about that. Just wanted to see if you guys would remember. I knew you would. Some of you were like, what? Don't forget it. We're going to pick up the shaver. You don't have to, but it's still fun. Oh, what? Hmm. What's that? What could that right there possibly be? Well, I guess we'll find out later. I like finding out secrets before they're actually revealed. <laughs> I like how the water kind of gets off of them. Alright, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Complete stealth, and of course, no alerts, or the game is over.
Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. not. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Hmm, looks like we got someone else infiltrating besides us. I wonder who that could be. another intruder in here besides me that's not a possibility not a team looks like a solo job one man we may not know who he is but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area they're all out cold whoever he is he's got some skills we need to get an id but for now you can take advantage of the situation and get to work there's a terminal in front of the elevator a node did you say nerd? Not nerd. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nanomachines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. All right, so we actually have a few minutes here. Now, since we are on the harder difficulty levels, there's actually some extra guards and whatnot, so you gotta watch out for them. Raiden, you won't be able to use any of the enemy's equipment. Why not? You should know that all active weapons are equipped with a personal identification system. The owner enters their required user ID information during the weapon registration or at the start of a mission. If anyone other than the registered user tries to fire the weapon, the ID system will not authorize the action. But these are black market Russian weapons. How can they be equipped with identification functionality? They must have been customized by the terrorists themselves. These are professionals we're dealing with, and they certainly won't let their own equipment be used against them. I'm guessing it's the same for the Navy SEALs gear? Right. How am I supposed to procure weapons then? Find the ones that haven't yet been individualized. Everything you find in the item box is clean. You should know this from your VR training. Okay, I know those. Items in the item box are yours to use at will. They will be your supply source with regards to weaponry and gear. Alright. So since we have more enemies, obviously the strategies might be different if you're just playing on normal or whatnot. Looks like we got another ration over here. And we need to get our first node. So let's do it.
All right, so let's find out. What is my code name going to be? Let's see. Shinter Von Strain. And I am July 17th. And I am not from the UK, unfortunately. But I am from the US of A. There we go. I uh, did turn up the brightness for you guys, so hopefully it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have its own brightness, so I had to use the brightness that's inside the capture, which might not make it look as crystal clear, but uh, hopefully uh, you guys will like it. Alright, so I think everything is set up the way I want it, and we are going to continue. Good word, Ryden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the Start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves, and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. Definitely She'll be not. overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. Me. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting Definitely her for this not. mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see. I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't Weird. remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying until I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Alright, time to get the heck out of Dodge.
Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. So I was thinking, you know what would be really cool? If Hideo Kojima would make a DLC for this game, but let you play through the tanker, or excuse me, the plant chapter as none other than Snake himself, just to see exactly what he was doing. I think that would be really cool. If you guys agree, you know, let me know. I, I just, I don't know why I thought of that, but I was like, that would be really cool if we got the chance to do that. Alright, so you gotta wait patiently here. And there we go. That is actually very tricky to do, but hopefully it'll work for you guys as well. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. What a weirdo. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. 